Hello everybody and welcome back to another Locals Report and I'm going to give you a heads up real quick. I've got five of these to record because I've been well behind on getting these sorted. So, um, if I look tired, disheveled, quite, kind of warm, it's been a busy day, I've been tired. Anyway, we're starting off with Geek Retreat and I've got my notes on my phone because I didn't take my notepad. Um, we've got Geek Retreat from the 23rd of the 5th, which is like over a week ago now. Ridiculous. Um, this was the week where I was playing Kirim VMAX in all my games because we hit 250 subscribers on YouTube. If you're one of those, thank you. If you're not, maybe this video convinces you. Um, first game was against Rapid Strike Urshifu Intellion. It was a win-win. Started second in game one and played as well as I could. Made a couple mistakes misreading cards, but I won. Can't remember what that was. I can't remember what the misread was at all. Um, but apparently I made a mistake. But I won. Who knows? Um, the second game started second again. Had Irida in hand for Battle VIP Pass and Kirim V Max. Fourth Kirim was prized to grab Starmie for getting it goes on the bench with VIP Pass. So that was all immediately like a whoops. I've kind of put a card there. I shouldn't have because uh, Starmie V has the attack Energy Spiral. I think it is. It does 50 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Rapid Strike Urshifu isn't attaching many, so it's kind of not the best to have at all. Um, own words here. Played smart, took out Intellion VMAX. I had one hit KO on rather than finishing off an Urshifu VMAX. Ob misplayed, uh, misplayed early with researching pieces away. Finished game KOing the damaged Urshifu. Yeah, so I kind of looked at the board state, and this is one of those things where I look back on it, and I'm like, you know what? That was actually really smart. I looked back on it, and I was like, well, I've got the knockout on the Urshifu easily. Like, if you don't know Kirim, um, Kirim has 120 damage for 3 energy. Every energy discards another 50. So, if you've got 4 energy on there, you hit him 320. Um, knowing how to play Kirim from previous uh, previous rotations and stuff like that, you know, the one. Um, <laughs> I know that, like, there's no point in going all out on an attack with Urshifu, uh, with Kirim, if you're not getting a knockout. Because you end up discarding a load of energy away. And if you do not hit the things you need to hit, with like Glaciated World and things, you aren't getting the energy back and then you got a dead cure and stuck in the active. So if you can't take the knockout, take the 120, setting up for a knockout next turn. Um, I did the 120 on the Urshifu VMAX and I was like, well, yeah, I can finish that off. But if I don't take out that Intellion, suddenly the damage is going to start going up via that. Um, it wasn't, it hadn't had any energy attached to it yet. Uh, it hadn't done anything and I th you know there's no water energy spent yet as well so double gunner could have come out i think if i remember right actually um double gunner would have taken a knockout on it may have taken a knockout on the star if i remember right I, I can't remember so rather than letting that happen um i bossed it up took that out full 320 damage and uh one thing i love about my opponent i think i've talked about before matt is he won't give away that I've, like, destroyed a bit of his game plan until, like, a turn or two later. And it always tickles me. He's got such a good poker face. And then he's like, yeah, it's because of the Italian VMAX, didn't you? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so he, I kind of know when, you know, that was the right course of action. But, like, a turn late. Like, you know, I have a rough idea of, like, what's a good idea and what's not in this game at this point. But having your opponent tell you, yeah, that was the right thing to do. It's like, cool. That, that reaffirms, like, your confidence in your actions. So, uh, yeah, uh, because... Uh, pieces were misplayed away. Um, finished the game, KOing the damage to Urshifu, and that was game. It was, uh, yeah, not a game I was expecting to win. I always get a bit worried playing against other VMAXers as a VMAX uh, player, because, you know, the three prize card thing, losing them so early, it's so easy. And it's not a match I tested for at all. Next game was round two. It was SR with Guardi. Oh, Shadow Rider Calrex with Guardi. Um, this was a win-win. Game one started well. Took out Cresselia for 120 with the VMAX. Had 320 damage available by turn two. Immediately took out the Shadow Rider VMAX. Lost the Curum that took out the Shadow Rider VMAX to God of War EX. Second Curum VMAX had four energy for KO. Yeah, it just hits the numbers. Like, the one thing that's a bit annoying about the Urshifu matchup is it's 330, I think it is. So you need to discard, unless you have Choice Belt, you need to discard that extra bit of energy just to make sure you get the one-hit knockout. The thing is, if you've got 320 on a VMAX or an EX, it's a one-shot for Kirim in most situations, especially that build of it. It's, you know, it, it's rare that you're not going to have enough energy to do it. So, yeah, that was uh, that was quite easy. And then, yeah, game two, the talk, no, open Kirim V plus at two battle VIP pass, had three Kirim and a Greninja down turn one. Adventurous Discovery turn two for three Kirim VMAX, kept topped up with energy for KOs on Cresselia, God of War, and Shadow Rider. Uh, that's something else I'm trying to keep an eye on as well. Um, paths to, like... My prizes, if that makes sense. It's the one thing I always enjoyed about playing Arceus and Duraludon. Um, you know, you force your opponent to have to take eight prize cards. It's, you know, two Duraludon VMAXs plus the Arceus. I 
almost, it's not, it's ridiculous to say I see it like the Matrix, but I look at the opponent's board states now and I'm like, one prize, two prize, three prize, three prize, perfect, okay. So like, I've done the maths, I know where I need to take my knockouts and stuff like that, I know where to save my bosses. And again, this, for people who've played the game for ages, is probably like, yeah, obviously, that's how you do it. But, you know, it's still a learning experience for me, and uh, I get proud when I start, like, <laughs> video game terms, unlocking a new talent <laughs> in the specialization of Pokemon TCG. <laughs> Um, final game, round three was an absolute uh, amazing game for me. Turbo Dragonite, double loss. Um, game one, couldn't get Kyurem's down to save my life. Missed turn two, Glaciated World for a KO. Opponent had 10 in the loss zone turn two. So I skipped that game. There's no chance. Yeah, I had two Kyurem down, I think it was. Um, I VMAXed them both. But by that point, uh, opponent already had 10 in the loss zone for, you know, Sableye plays and stuff like that. Um... Glaciated World just wasn't hitting. I couldn't get the other Glaciated Worlds going, so it was an easy game for them. Uh, game two, Stormy Start. Five energy and escape rope in hand. Says it all, really. Opponent had Raikou in the active, and after 79 cards played, had <laughs> the loss zone for a Mirage Gate on Raikou for game. Couldn't do anything, but that's the game. So yeah, I honestly, Kyurem did really well. The only time it didn't is when it bricked, is basically how it goes. And honestly, I've said this about like every deck in this current format. Consi and, you know, big professional players and stuff have said this. Consistency is the biggest winner in this game. It's why you're seeing Arceus take wins. You why you're seeing Mew take wins. Mew does have a tendency to brick if it's, you know, a little bit awkward. But quite often, you've got the consistency of searches and stuff like that. Plenty of ways to get rid of your hand and bring back what you need. So, yeah, it's just one of those games. But, you know, two wins and a loss with a meme deck. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, that was Kyurem for Geek Retreat uh, last week's standard. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, all my links are in the description below. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I've got plenty more of these to come. So uh, we've got a week full of them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.